The Russians continue to lose a lot of military personnel in the Tavria Operational Strategic Area. Tavria Operational Strategic Group Commander Brigadier General Alexander Tarnovsky made a statement on Russian losses. 36 pieces of military equipment were destroyed, in particular, 9 armored personnel carriers, 4 artillery systems, 2 air defense vehicles, 13 UAVs, 6 vehicles and 2 special equipment units were destroyed. In addition, two ammunition depots and three other significant enemy objects were destroyed. The Russian military said. The Russian army in the southern region continues to suffer losses. In addition, 11 units of Russian military equipment were damaged. As for manpower, according to the general's data, Russians' losses in this direction totaled 531 people. Five invaders surrendered as prisoners of war, Tarnovsky added. According to the general staff, the Russian invaders are continuing their offensive near Bakhmut and are trying to encircle Avdivka. In particular, as Tarnowski noted, the Ukrainian army is resolutely maintaining the defense in the Avdivka direction. At the same time, an offensive operation is underway in the direction of Militopol. While the losses of the Russian army continue to increase every day, the total number of casualties in the Russian army since the beginning of the occupation has reached 318,570 military personnel. In addition, the Ukrainian armed forces destroyed 29 unmanned aerial vehicles and 25 armored vehicles in the past day. What do you think is the most important reason for the operational success of the Ukrainian army? Alexander Tarnovsky closely monitors Russian losses and keeps up to date with these operations. What are your thoughts on Russian losses?